Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, we are going to talk about how exactly you can set up your blog inside the Bluehost. Bluehost is one of the most popular WordPress recommended hosting. So what is Bluehost? What features it offering? Why you should have to set up your blog with the Bluehost? And what are the steps you have to follow to start your very first blog? I'm going to explain here in this video. But before proceeding, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video as well as provide your comment in case you have any query related to uh, set up your WordPress blog inside the Bluehost. So here we are on the screen. First of all guys, there is a link uh, in the description. You can simply go through that and you will be landed here on this page. Now let's talk about why Bluehost. First of all guys, Bluehost is one of the oldest webs, uh, web hosting uh, provider service. There you can see on the wordpress.org, Bluehost is among the most recommended hosting by the WordPress, right? So obviously it's a trustworthy hosting. And the most important part guys, when I have started my blogging journey, I was stick with the Bluehost for more than two years and still using the Bluehost for sort of my websites. So I'm going to tell you how and what are the features Bluehost is offering. If you'll go to the Bluehost, there you can see you will be having a multiple options, but here under hosting, you must be having a three options. Let's talk about the shared hosting. If you will click to the shared hosting guys, you will be landed on this individual page, which will list you around four options where you will be having an option to choose the server location in between USA or India. So imagine if your most of the traffic is coming from the India, hopefully you will going to choose the India. But in case your traffic is coming from the outside countries, it is ideally, ideally recommended to use the USA. But don't be confused. Choose any of this, whatever fits best for you. Let's take an example. I will go back to India. As you will choose the India, you will be ha having here four options. Basic plan plus choice plus and pro as a beginner, I would highly recommend you to go or start with the plus plan. So what does plus plan offer? Number one thing is for all of these plans, you will be getting the server location in the India. The next important thing, the basic plan will allow you to host only one website. However, the plus plan will allow you to host multiple websites. And obviously being a blogger, you will learn a lot many things. And within a year, you are going to start another blog as well. So save your money whenever you will be subscribing for the first time. So go with the plus plan. In addition, guys, you can see here, you will get here a one year free domain. So you will get a free domain and that domain can be renewed after an year, but you will not be charged initially for an year. So you can claim the domain. Then after guys, these are the basic website builder. You can set up your WordPress website. The another best feature is you will get here a SSL certificate, which is the case with all the plans you can see here. So the SSL certificate is something very important as per the Google guideline, all of your website must route it to the HTTPS and there you don't have to pay anything because SSL will come with all the plans. Then the another best part which will come with the plus plan is this Bluehost SEO tool. So this tool will help you how your keyword is performing, what is the SEO audit of your website. So I'm going to tell you about all the stuff when we will be going through the setup process. Okay. So now the important major difference in between basic and the plus is one website and unlimited website. Now I'm going to buy the plus plan. So simply click to the select. As you will click to the select, it will go to the next screen. On that next screen, you have to provide certain inputs. So there you can see guys, you will be having your two options. So number one is either you must be having an already domain, maybe your site is somewhere else. So you can simply give here, use a domain you already own. In that case, guys, if you will get a free domain, then that amount will be stored inside your account using which you can purchase any additional domain. But in case you wanted to buy a new domain, you can come here and just type whatever the domain you want, simply click to the next. It will check whether that domain is available or not. If it is available, then you can easily claim it right now. So it is telling like it is available. That's fine. Then after guys, you have to fill your name and all other details. And this is the crucial part you have to understand. You know, each and every hosting provider will offer you a major discount if you will purchase uh, for a longer duration in your first time logging. So let's take an example. If you will go with a 12 month plan, your costing will be 459 rupees, but 24 months it is reducing. And for 36 months, it is only 299 rupees. So this is the beauty of uh, Bluehost. The, the longer duration you will take, the more money you will save. Let's take an example. You have taken this for the 12 month. Then after you are going for a renewal, 
obviously you will be charged higher so if you have decided then go with the longer duration where my most recommendation is at least go with the 24 months in case you have the money otherwise 12 month will be the best plan that's the only bit you have to choose other things are only optional you can remove all the stuff because the domain will come with the privacy and all those stuff so if you don't need remove all the stuff simply this is going to be your total payment provide your card details and simply come here accept this condition and click to the submit as you will click to the submit your account with the bluehost will be set up will be ready to install your wordpress it is easy and simple hopefully you got the good idea about the features and how to create an account with the wordpress now i will take you inside my account for that what you have to do is simply come here and click to the login options now to log in the account you can come back to the bluehost click here to the login inside the login you have to provide your name and the password whatever you have created okay and this thing you will get via email as well simply click to the login so i will take you the back end of the uh, bluehost so you will get to know how it will look like and how you can set up the website you can see guys i have simply logged in with my credentials then after there is a two options first thing is either you can migrate your website from somewhere else and the migration will be free bluehost offer you a free site migration so you don't have to pay anything that team will handle all those stuff but in our case we are starting or creating our website from scratch so simply click create your website then after when it comes to building your website you will be having a certain guide on this we don't need skip the step this is again what type of store we don't need skip the step then after do you want it to set up all the step we don't need skip the step once you are done with that now the installation of the wordpress on your website will be started so there you can see bash how would you like to build your wordpress best wordpress for beginner so there you can see bluehost website builder and there is a wordpress so i am going to set up here with the help of a wordpress so simply click to the get started what type it is so let's say my blog is all about uh, one of this industry so i will choose here anything let's say personal blog what are you creating for myself and simply click to continue then you should be able to see what do you want to name or anything whatever you wanted to name your website let's say my website name will be kirti shwaz what is your site tagline uh, learn here as you have given this simply click to the continue now guys your wordpress installation is in progress and there you can see there will be an option to choose one of the theme for your website so if you want you can choose any of this theme otherwise simply click to skip this step now the installation of wordpress is going on on back end of your hosting account this is the one step you just have to follow as soon as this will finishes the installation of the wordpress will be completed so there you can see guys this process has now been completed now after clicking this single option you should be able to log in your wordpress but before that come back here and click to the my site inside the my site you should be able to see your domain name which is by default been assigned so there you can see this is the by default domain name been created for me so i can go to this manage site and can start doing couple of changes in terms of the setting so first thing is remember guys there is a setting area this is my domain name so if you have your own domain name you can come back here and change this domain name simply come here and click to the save template that is the basic thing you have to do and all other this is going to be your panel using which you can control your website another part is if your site is not live you can choose this as in coming soon page okay so it will show as in coming soon so i will show you let's copy this domain go back and type it here you should be able to see how your website will look like once it will be installed so there you can see it is say coming soon so what i will come back here and simply off this so now our site will be live and users should be able to interact with that so i will click here as in refresh and let's see how our website will look like so it will be installed with a default theme of the wordpress so let's see how it will look like so there you can see guys this is our default website which has been installed on the bluehost and this is going to be the domain name let's come back here guys now the another part you have to do is so there you can see guys already uh, already the uh, security server ssl has been installed on the default one but let's say in the future you would like to install a free ssl of yours come here click to the security and there you can see ssl certificate which you will get for free this is a trial account for me which i just now created that's why this option is not available but in your case you will be having here an option to enable the ssl so your custom domain will be having a https you got my point now let's go back 
to our homepage or to the overview. Inside the overview, you should be able to see your website and everything. So let's log in inside the WordPress. So simply click to log into WordPress. Then after you will be directly landed inside the WordPress backend from where you can customize your theme, you can install a new theme and you can start working on the WordPress. So let's get, uh, so let's start it. So there you can see guys now finally the WordPress has been active and this is going to be your site. So there you can see all the themes, all the plugins, services, setting, everything you can control here from this part. The another best part is it actually offer you the inbuilt caching which actually improve your website performance. So the caching you don't need to link it with the external caching sources but the Bluehost itself will handle the caching facility so your website speed will be very smooth and will run perfectly okay so that is the thing you will get inside now all the other options it will be similar like as in wordpress you know how to use the wordpress if not there are a couple of different lessons i will be linking here in the description as well as i button you can go through that and you will learn how to do and how to use the wordpress okay so now the another important part is now if you would like to change the theme you can come here click to the theme area now inside the theme you can choose the free theme which has been offered by the wordpress so simply come here click to the plus icon as you will click to the plus icon you will be having a multiple options to choose from the wordpress library so let's install one of the theme let's say i will install this theme astra theme let's install it then after we will activate the theme and see how the look and feel of our new website okay so there you can see let's activate it once it will be activated, we will refresh our page so that you should be able to see the new look of our website with the help of the Astra theme. So there you can see guys, this is the new look. The more content you will add, the more customization you will do, the site look and feel will, will be different, such as like this. There you can see this site is on the WordPress. This is my website and there you can see this is how the customization has been already happened. So in this way, guys, you can change the theme. You can set up your website inside the Bluehost. So let me take you. Uh, so let me take you back to the uh, Bluehost and there I will show you what are the other features you can use yourself as part of the SEO tool. Okay. Now, guys, I'm back to the Bluehost uh, your control panel. So inside of this area, I'm going to tell you how you can leverage the Bluehost SEO tool. Well, this individual tool will come free of cost under your plus plan so make sure for that you must have a plus plan after that you can come back to the marketplace inside the marketplace you will have an option called add-ons once you will click to the add-on there will be an option called bluehost india seo tool simply click to that and you will be having your two options start and grow plan so under the start you should be able to track the status of your website with the help of a 10 keyword you can have a two competitor report analysis and step by step as you plan for your website and pages to improve its ranking this will cost you 389 rupees per month but if you will purchase the plus plan this will come for a free of cost for time being i will show you how you can claim it simply go to that select this individual plan and you can come here there will be two plans so let's say i've chosen the start plan this is going to be my domain and simply click to the buy now as you will click to the buy now it will go to the checkout window if you have that plan this cost will show you 0, 0.00 so then after what happens is you have to simply proceed with the order and that tool will be installed inside your wordpress so you should be able to check the status report of your website how it will look like where improvement required and you can explore it in more hopefully guys in this video you got a good idea what is what what is bluehost why bluehost is one of the most popular hosting what are the feature it offering how you can claim the special offer where the link is in the description how to install the wordpress how to install the theme as well as how you can claim the bluehost india as your tool for free if you will be uh, subscribing for the plus plan if this is so stay tuned for the future videos i will keep making similar kind of blogging affiliate marketing and seo related content on this channel if you are new make sure you subscribe to this hopefully you have enjoyed this lesson hope see you in the future video